Hello friends, welcome back to OKZior. In this video, we'll talk about TCO, Total Cost of Ownership Calculator. And this video will be useful for those who are preparing for Azure Fundamentals. And business owners can also use this calculator to find out how much money they can save by migrating their infrastructure to cloud over the period of time, say three years or in five years. That we'll see in this video. How can we go ahead and make use of TCU to find out the cost savings? All right. So that being said, let's begin the video. Now to calculate the total cost, we need to provide some details like about the servers, number of servers and server configuration. We also need to provide details about the database and storage along with the networking. So TCO calculator, it takes information about your server, database, storage and networking and then it calculates how much money you can save over the period of three years or five years. Now, no one can give you the exact numbers, but you can get the approx savings that you can have by providing as much details as you can. Details in terms of hardware cost, software cost, electricity cost because you are running a data center so obviously you are paying for the electricity every month you need to mention about virtualization cost data center cost because you have your setup right so definitely you're paying for the physical space you can also mention data warehouse cost it labor cost and everything so as much details you will feed into the tcu calculator you will see more accurate cost savings all right, now let's go and see how can we make use of TCO calculator to find out the cost saving. So it is a three step process to calculate the total cost savings by using TCO calculator. In this step one, you define your workloads. So here you need to mention about all your servers, your server configuration, about your database and the storage and uh, networking as well. So basically in step one, you have to mention about all your resources which you have in your data center. All right. In a step two, you have to make the adjustment. So you can never give the accurate information, right? So what you can do here is that you can just make the adjustments or your assumptions so that you provide more accurate information. And in a step three, you will see the exact cost savings that you can have over the period of time. Here you will see the comparison between the between your infrastructure resources and in the cloud. So this will give you a step-by-step -step comparison that how much money you are going to save when you move your infrastructure to cloud. All right. So now what I will do is I will take you to the official portal of Microsoft Azure pricing slash TCO calculator and we'll see an example. All right. So here we are azure.microsoft.com slash TCO and here you can see a button called start assessment. So all right. So if you see here, there are three steps. Step one is to define your workload. So here you need to mention about all your resources. So first one is say servers. So let me just go ahead and say that we have a product that is servers. Right. And now you need to provide as many details as you have. So workload or server type Windows or Linux server, physical server or virtual machine. Operating system, Windows or Linux, data center or standard, number of servers. So basically, let's say, for example, I have four production servers and it says number of processors, number of processor per server. So I'll call it as four. You see number of CPU cores. So let me just call it six. RAM, say 100 GB. CPU, yeah, I'll keep as is. So for simplicity, I just mentioned that we have four production servers, but now you can have different configurations. So what you can do is you simply click on this one, add server workload, and then you can mention about your server configuration. You may have different servers, each one having different configuration that you can put here by clicking on this particular link, add server workload, and then you can talk about your second workload, second server. Then if you have more, you can add, keep going. But for now, I'll just remove this one because for simplicity, we just have four production servers and 
each one is having same configuration for us now next is you need to talk about the databases so let me just go ahead and click on database you need to choose your server type license physical server operating system data center number of servers i'll call as that i have two servers one is primary and secondary debit servers course for eight cpu cost ram again i'll call it as let me just make it 50 or yeah 50 gb or memory if you have sql server you can enable this one database sql database virtual course general course 8 and sql server storage i'll keep 50 gb here also and backup let me call it as 100 gb is enough now and if you have more databases you can just click on this one add database and you can add your second database if you have more you can add database 3 right but for now i'll delete i'll just keep one database okay so now let's mention about the storage so storage storage type disk type capacity for example i think 100 let me just call it as 50 tb backup say 100 and archive is also 100 so depending on your resources now networking it says enter the amount of networking bandwidth for your currently consume in your on premises so i'll call it as 50 gb or let's make it 100 gb all right so here we are done with the workload so we have added server database storage and networking let's go to the next now the next step is adjust assumptions so you can never uh, put all the accurate information so it is better to have the assumptions so here you can adjust you can enable or disable the options for example if you have zrs storage you can just enable disable if you are using virtual machine cost you can do that too you can also provide information about electricity cost storage cost it labor cost and other assumptions like hardware cost software and all right so this is very important to mention and it will give you more accurate savings all right now let's go to the next step which is view report so here if you see the first option it says time frame so you can go and select three years four years or five years to get the approx cost savings that you can have so if i go ahead and select three years resin microsoft program and okay so if you see over three years if i use this particular configuration if i move the number of servers database and storage to cloud i'll say close to this much money in us dollar over the period of three years so you can see that to here so this is your cost which you are going to put if you use your on-premises resources but if you move to microsoft azure you will see a lot more all right so 1.5 million approx now if i go and change make it this view report to five years that i want to see that how much money i can save over the period of five years so i will be saving this much money right now so this is the cost which you see but actually you really want to know where you are saving so if you come down it will give you the breakdown as well so total on premises over five years you will be saving spending this much of money but of if you use like it says like more than 2000k 2051k but if you use azure then you will be spending only 514k over the year of five years and here also you can see the cost where you're going to save money so if you use on premises you will be, you are going to spend 69 percent of your money on the compute 10 percent on the database five percent on the networking but if you go to cloud you will save 32 percent you will just spend 32 percent on the compute zero percent on the data center zero percent on the networking right so if you want to see the more breakdown you just scroll down and then you will see the category wise breakdown so if you see here talking about the compute data center networking storage so here you see your on-premises cost over the period of five years 
and if you see on the right hand side the cost which you're going to spend if you use azure cloud right if you want to see more breakdown you can just go and expand these here we have compute software cost electricity cost data center cost networking storage it labor and all right so now once you have once you are done with your analysis you can save this particular report you can share with your colleagues or you can download this particular excel sheet so once you save you can come back here and then you can make your adjustments for example if you just want to add more servers or you want to remove servers from your workload for example initially i put four servers but say that going forward you just want to have only two servers or you just say that you want to update some values just make it two only and you go to the next and then next so your yeah you will see here so this is how you can go and make the changes later on as well if you want to and the good part of tcu calculator is that you can save your estimates you can share with the business owner or you can download and then you can play with this offline all right so i hope and i believe that you have got the idea how can you go ahead and make use of as your tcu calculator and then you can see how much money you can save over the period of time if you move your workload to as your cloud all right thank you for watching and bye for now